I play a character named David Duncan in the movie. Uh, he is married to a character named Zara, and he's just this fun, bon vivant type guy who's sort of very calm and very confident and, you know, has traveled the world, been all these different places, never been to India before, but he's able to sort of maintain a calmer head when all this stuff goes down because he's got to get his son, he's got to keep him safe, he's got to get back to his wife, he's got all these things he has to do and survive this hellscape that they're now inside of. It's been terrific to work with Anthony. He's an amazing director and, and even though this is his first feature film, it doesn't feel like it. Like there's, there's never any moments of unnecessary deliberation of, you know, well, should we put the camera here? Should we do this? Or, well, I don't know. I don't know what to do here. What, blah, blah, blah. He's also just, uh, his sort of like passion and his, his zeal for what he's doing in the story. It's just, he doesn't rest. He doesn't sleep. He just goes, goes, goes. You know what? I'll get a call on Sunday and he'll go, do you want to come over and rehearse for a couple hours? And I'll go, yeah, yeah, I really do. That sounds great. And then we'll go and we'll work for several. You know, he just, he does, he's insatiable, which is great. I think it's a good quality to have as a director, especially if you're doing something like this and it's such an intense project. He just doesn't seem to get tired, which is nice. It's a true story and it's based off of something that happened and something that's really intense that has sort of damaged and scarred and even killed a lot of people. So there's a sense of reverence that you have to bring to it. You know, we're not just making a story where we can be flippant about things. We're dealing with people's lives and a lot of them were lost in the process of this story. So, you know, there's, there's a sense of responsibility, you know, uh, especially with all the research material that we have, with all of the interviews we have of all the Taj staff and everybody. It's, it's, this is a, it's a serious undertaking that none of us take flippantly. And it's, it's been an amazing process to bring this story back to life. You know, in, in as respectful of a way as we possibly can while getting all the details right while still being cautious with people because I think there are some people that are still highly traumatized by this. So that definitely factors into how you play this and how you do it. It's just such an intense project and so much of what goes on on camera is fear-based, whether it be by design of the terrorist or just by the fact that you have people run, roaming up and down the hallways, shooting people, you know. It's, um, it's, it's, a, it's an emotionally charged project. And I, I know for myself, you know, selfishly speaking, I go home at the end of every day completely drained, you know, because it's, you're, you're manufacturing these feelings of intense terror and fear all day. And it's exhausting, but at the end of the day, you feel like you've really done something. And I, and I, I hope that at the end of this project, we all look back and go, you know what, that was 100% worth it. I hope for this film that people walk away from it seeing the human side of terrorism. You know, I mean, it's like, speaking as an American, we have this sort of blanket idea of a terrorist as this sort of like veiled, crazy, shifty guy who's willing to kill anything and anybody to get what he wants. And it's like, that's not really the case. A lot of these guys come from families where, you know, their families miss them and they're there because maybe they got tricked or maybe they were stolen, you know, whatever. It's like you see that these kids doing this are young kids who have no real concept of what they're doing. They've just been brainwashed and it can happen to anybody and it may have happened to me and I just don't even know it. You know, it's just, you see the human side of everybody on this and I think it's sort of the first time that you see there's a sensitive side to these guys. They're scared too. They don't know what's going on. They don't know what they're doing and I think that's a huge powerful message because a lot of these guys aren't malicious. They're doing it because they're doing it for their village. They're doing it, they're, they're jihadis because they're fighting for their families. They're fighting for whatever. It's the same reason that we feel like we're fighting against that, you know, and it's as soon as you can understand that we're both people just on different sides of the spectrum and with different understandings about things, but that doesn't really matter, then maybe you can dissolve that tension in between. I don't know, that would be, that would be nice. I don't think a movie can really do that, but it might be a good start, a good conversation starter.